Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be talking about Facebook attribution and how it works. We're also gonna answer two of the most popular questions that we get. Why aren't my analytics lining up? And how can I tell if Facebook's really responsible for that sale? I'm Meredith, the creative director at Vidico, and we help e-commerce companies scale their paid traffic. So let's get into it. Okay, so the most common question that we get from every single client that has walked through our door is, why aren't my Facebook analytics lining up with my Google analytics? It's driving me crazy, I think Facebook's lying, maybe Google's lying, I don't know who's lying, but somebody is. And we're here to tell you, nobody's lying, it's just that Facebook has a completely different way to attribute sales than Google does. So we're gonna break it down and try and make it as easy as possible. So here's how attribution works on Facebook. It happens one of two ways. The first is if somebody clicks on your ad and converts within 28 days. The second one is if somebody sees your ad, and that means just scrolling through the newsfeed and converts within 24 hours. And Facebook's not exclusive. If you see an ad on another platform within that 28 day time period or that 24 hour time period, they're still going to count that as a win for their track record. On the other hand, Google is extremely, extremely exclusive to the point of being almost clicky. So Google is only going to attribute a sale to the last platform that was interacted with before the sale occurred. So let's take this as an example. You are on Facebook, you see a great ad for a hat company, you're like, I need a hat, it's getting sunny out. You click on the ad, but then you decide like, uh, I don't really know if I need the hat. Three days later, you're like, I need the hat. So you type the hat company into Google and you go straight to the website and you purchase. Now, Google is going to say that that was an organic search and that's where that sale came from. However, Facebook's like, hey, three days ago, you clicked on that ad. It's within that 28 day window. So Facebook is also gonna count that as a sale. So can you see how this can get just like totally confusing as you have more sales and more sales and more sales? So let's go back to Facebook really quickly. If you're anything like any of our other clients, their second biggest question is, well, how do I know which ad was the one that I can attribute the sale to? And when you have multiple campaigns going and multiple ad sets and audiences and creatives, you're like, well, what if somebody clicked on a million different ads in the 28 day time period? Like is Facebook triple counting, quadruple counting, like racking up the numbers to make it look better? And they're not. It's super simple, and here's how Facebook breaks it down. So whichever ad was the last clicked in that 28-day time period, that's the ad that is counted for the sale. And now if no ads were clicked and we're in that 24-hour time period where it was just seen in the newsfeed, whichever ad was last seen, that is the ad that is going to count for the sale. So I hope this was helpful, and if you liked what you saw, please subscribe below. We'll be back next week with another social advertising related video. And after watching this, if you're like, I don't care, help me, like I don't wanna learn attribution, that's totally fine. We would love to help you figure it out. And there's a link below in the description to get in touch with us. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys soon.